are the construction workers and contractors and subcontractors covered in a contractor's all risk or erection all risk policy? We're going to answer that question and take a look at five things you need to know about these policies today. What's up? You're watching Tito Talks Non-Life Insurance Discussions once again with your favorite Tito Miguel who loves to make non-life insurance discussions easier to understand for both agents and clients. Maganda, 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 magandang Friday po sa ating lahat. Thank you so much for joining in one more time for another session here with your favorite Tito. Welcome once again to the much expected weekend. I hope you guys are all doing fine. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are all doing dry as well. For today, um, we've got another interesting topic here for you. As I left you with quite the question last time, are the workers on a construction project also covered under CAR and EAR. Now we're going to answer that question in a ser- in the series of other things you need to know about engineering insurance, specifically CAR and EAR. Although they are all risk policies, there are some very important things you have to remember about them, and Tito is going to help you master them today. So let's get started with number one then, shall we? As mentioned earlier, um, the workers, contractors, subcontractors, unfortunately are not covered under the CAR or EAR policy. This is very important to note. If you wish to have these people covered, you would need a separate policy, which is a little bit hard to come by since the nature of the work that they do is quite dangerous and is quite risky. You're going to want to find a very brave <laughs> and a very calculating underwriter to help you formulate a a personal accident insurance policy to help uh, cover their risks. Now, with that being said, the workers are not covered. However, you can get additional coverage for third parties that could be accidentally injured or killed by any untoward incident during the accident. Malaglagan ng debris, uh, malaglagan ng heavy equipment or materiales while passing through the area of the project. Especially if your project is in a highly urbanized area like let's say Makati, Alabang, um, BGC, wherein construction sites are located in public areas, wherein people not connected to the project could be passing along there on a regular basis. Nako, you're going to need that absolutely. Now, although we're talking about an all-risk policy, and if you're not familiar with, uh, with what an all-risk policy is, take a look at this video. We talk about what all-risk means and what is excluded. Speaking of exclusions, although you are talking about an all-risk policy, part of the exclusions of a CAR and EAR policy clearly dictate that losses because of faulty material or faulty worksmanship, in short, pangit na materiales, pangit pa yung pagkakagawa, at not necessarily yung gumagawa, <laughs> um, these sorts of losses are not covered. That means, if let's say an incident happens, and this incident, let's say, was caused by bad materials, the cost to replace these bad materials is not covered by the policy, nor is the cost of labor, repetitive labor, to replace the faulty workmanship um, effects. Hindi po siya makocover ng insurance. So be very, very careful about that. Now, the basic Um, engineering insurance policy, the basic CAR and EAR policy, only cover so much. Yes, they are all risk type policies, but they are limited into what specific areas of the project are covered. Galit na galit sa mic, no? <laughs> they are limited to what specific areas of the project are covered. Specific areas of the project? Isn't the project one whole thing in itself? That's one way of looking at it, Miguel, but you'll be surprised to know projects or construction projects are divided into several areas of interest, lalong-lalo na if you're talking about insurance. The basic engineering policy under CAR or EAR will only cover the contract works, 
yun at yun lang. And when we say the term contract works, that pertains slow, uh, that pertains solely to the labor and materials used on the project. Yung materiales at yung pagod, yung labor, yung manpower na ginamit po sa pagpapatayo ng gusali ng bahay, ng proyekto. Those are the only things that are covered. Meaning, if you want to have additional coverages such as third-party liability, removal of debris, which is very important kapag may claim, and also other types of coverages. Nako po, these have to be requested. And of course, additional premium is required. Another exclusion under the CAR and EAR policies, this one's very important, is the vibration and weakening of support. Vibration and weakening of support of what exactly? That'll be your neighbors specifically. Now, if your project is located in an already populated or an already urbanized area, especially if it's in a business district, chances are you're going to have some very sensitive neighbors who may be affected by your project, especially if you're going to be breaking ground. Magjajak hammer kayo or magbubungkal po ng lupa. When that happens, you cause vibrations in the ground that can get your objectives completed but may affect the integrity of the supporting foundations of your neighbors. Meaning, pwedeng masira ang mga gusali nila because of your project. And if they claim and prove that your project has caused damages to their structures, Indirectly, because of your actions, nakupo, the policy cannot cover you. So, jackhammer lightly. Now, on top of just covering the contract works of the policy, an engineering policy also has a need for equipment and mixing plants, so on and so forth. You've got your cement mixing plants, your welding stations, your cranes and whatnot. These various structures that are needed on the project can also be insured. But then again, it also requires or these items also require separate requests and separate premiums as well. Usually at the end of the computation, they're all factored in into the final premium. When you're talking with contractors before the project begins, you'll usually have to iron these things out. Ipapakover mo ba yung debris removal? Ipapakover mo ba yung construction plant and machinery? Yung equipment mo? Isasama mo na rin ba? Once you've ironed these things out, then a proper premium can be, comp uh, can be computed. And take note, this will take into consideration not just the materials involved, not just the labor involved, but also the cost for replacement or repair of the machinery and equipment that you use on that project. All your cement mixers, all your jackhammers, all your forklifts, the prices of these things will be taken into consideration, which of course will kick up your premium and of course kick up your commission. You thought we were stuck at five? I've got one more for you, actually. <laughs> Surprise! Number six. Since you're talking about AONs, yes, and if you need us to say that out loud, it is true. AONs are covered. When we say AON, we mean acts of nature, also alternatively known as acts of God. Not familiar with AON, AOG? Take a look at this video. Now, when we're talking about AON, you are talking about these convulsions of nature. In short, tunay na malas. Landslide, earthquake, typhoon, hurricane, alien invasion, <laughs> meteorite shower, you name it. These convulsions of nature are now covered under an all-risk policy. One of the best things about an all-risk policy is that these things are understood to already be covered, even robbery and burglary. As long as the robbery and burglary were not committed by your employees. 
I hope you enjoyed this video today as much as I love sharing my knowledge with you guys. And to prepare us for next week, woo, next week's gonna be extra special for all of you. Why? Because we're gonna take a trip down memory lane and talk about the history of insurance. So my question for you guys today is, where did insurance all start? What were the roots of insurance? When did people start talking? about insurance when was the idea of insurance first introduced into human civilization and we're going to tackle that next week wednesday so i hope you stay tuned for another episode of tito talk so thank you so much for joining us once again this is your favorite tito miguel always saying i hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend <laughs>